Hey, top of the morning, top of the morning. What's good? Thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Um, what can I say? First of all, let me say it's Friday, um, May 12th, 2023. And today is actually my uncle's birthday. So happy birthday, Uncle Mel. Uh, much love to you. Respect to you. Thank you very much for all that you do. Um, anyways, uh, today is one of those days. It's TGIF. And so what I want to talk about is kind of pertaining to yesterday's uh, episode. And I told you that I was going to get my second opinion on my treatment. So what they thought they should do if they had any different types of uh, medication or alternatives for me to do. Um, So to say the least, I mean, I was in a very good mood yesterday and I'm in a very good mood today as well. So um, that's a good thing. Um, But even still, um, no matter what, I don't want to kill my spirits anyway. So you know what I mean? So um, that's just the way it is. And let's not underestimate the facts that, you know, because I want to make sure people know that I'm not underestimating the facts. The fact is, I'm at stage four, and there is no stage five. All I got to do is fight. My back is is up against the wall, and it's fight or flight, period. You know what I mean? So what's my mind state? How's my training going so I could go ahead and swing 15 rounds? That's basically where I'm at. So... With that being said, um, my wife actually came with me to uh, get the second opinion, as, as she does. She's my biggest, one of my biggest advocates, my best friend. And, you know, she's uh, very, very, very supportive. And I thank her for having the day off. But I have her here today. And so um, I need her to be thankful for the wake up. So can you give me a one, two, three? Thank God for the wake up. Thank you very much. <laughs> As you can see, she's here <laughs> live and direct and here to kind of help navigate me through um, the show a little bit because she's a little bit more familiar with the terminology and stuff like that, even though some of the names of the medicines that he's considering, um, yeah, the names are like, I don't know... I don't know either. Yeah, they're crazy. I mean, usually I'm good at like pronouncing stuff. Yeah, I but, don't know what that um, means. Yeah. Okay. Philippines. What's that? Cyanida. 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 Supposed to be Canada. Damn it. Cyanida. Um, anyways, I honestly, first walking in, um, everybody seemed to be very kind, right? Very kind. Yeah. Very nice. Um, totally different experience. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. You know, um, everybody from the, the check-in, the check-in person to, the doctor, you know, I mean, it was it was pretty cool to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, now, I went through some questionnaires. They they had me, you know, answer some stuff and you know talk to the nurse and you know everybody's looking at me like, damn, this guy's got stage four. Basically, you could see it. You could kind of see it in their eyes. They're like, whoa, this guy appears to be pretty healthy and vibrant. Yeah. That's kind of the perception I got. Am I right? Yeah, yeah okay. definitely. Um, and I carry myself that way, you know, because there's no other way really to carry myself, you know, I mean, like, you know. Well, they're just not used to seeing, you know, yeah. somebody with stage four. Yeah, and and optimistic, probably, as I am, like, I'm very optimistic. Or healthy. Um, yeah, yeah. Because if you didn't have cancer, otherwise you're healthy. You have no underlying conditions. Yeah, you don't nothing. take medicine. Like nothing. I don't do anything. My all is my good. blood pressure. 
Yeah. It was excellent. What was yeah. my blood pressure? Uh, 113 over 77. Yeah. Amazing. Boom. Strong like bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strong like bull. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, right now, I mean, I did have like work my work clothes on. Mind you, I wear like a ton of clothes, you know what I mean? Like boots, work boots, and all this crap. So technically, I'm at about 162, 160, 162. I kind of fluctuated in between there. Um, but they had me at 166. So temperature yeah. was great. Um, everything, all my vitals were like perfect. I mean, you, if you would just, if I went in for like a routine checkup, be not being diagnosed and just went into my primary doctor for a routine checkup, he would, he would give me a clean bill of health. Yeah. For sure. Right? Yeah, for sure. Nothing's wrong with you. Your stomach hurt? No, my stomach don't hurt. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. You're great, Mr. Lopez. You know what I mean? You're good to go. Yeah. So, but, I mean, for you, I yeah. mean, let's kind of, I, I want to go just go in with you first. Like, how did you feel about the overall conversation, the talk? I, I thought it was great. Um, he was very polite, very respectful. Um he had no problem with you wanting to continue holistic care, maybe side by side with, you know, some of the traditional medicine. Um, he just gave it to you straightforward, you know, let's catch this in the early stage. Yeah, you're stage four, but it's still early. Yeah, it was still early for the simple fact that. I had I had no diagnosis. I had no there was no cancer at all, and then all of a sudden here it is. Yeah, you know. Um, so yeah. that was that's what he means by catching it early. In he the thinks that in, you'll do very yeah, well um, in the stage with four treatment. process. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it's early in the stage four process, I I'm not diagnosed by stage four and then waiting a year and a half to to seek treatment. Right. And it's too late because right. now it's spread everywhere else or right. whatever. Exactly. So I mean. The one thing I could tell you the difference, the biggest difference for me was just the night and day in their bedside manners. Totally. Like, seriously, like, these, this guy knew how to talk to you where yeah. he didn't make you feel like you was going to die tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, we're just going to keep you comfortable. Yeah. You know, in the meantime. Yeah. Till you croak. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? Just like, what the fuck? Um, this dude actually like listened. Listened. And I can't he you can't promise something like this. I mean, this is this is where we're at. You know, nobody knows the outcomes of anything that I'm doing um on the side holistically. Mm -hmm. And nobody knows the outcome if, if I choose to go the route of having some um, Western medicine involvement. Nobody knows the outcome. Nobody knows if I'm going to live to see tomorrow. Nobody knows if I'm going to live to see 20 years. Right. I mean, it's just the, it's just the way things are. You know what I mean? But my belief system says I'm going to live a while and I'm going to beat this thing. That's how I believe. Um, with that being said, though, um, he was very optimistic about um, a chance of survival yes for that, a while that was my question i was like yes you know my husband's in stage four is he gonna live yeah you know what i mean like don't get me wrong we asked some i think some pretty tough questions right yeah. i mean he can't predict it but he's right. like i've definitely seen people like you that are healthy otherwise live a long a life. long time yeah i got nothing from that the first time around no right so when I say I walked out of there pretty happy, I think I walked out of there yeah. pretty happy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and and that's a good thing. So, um, so right now I'm I'm actually I believe me and the wife talked about it about you know actually making them my primary. Yeah. 
right? It's going to be my go-to. My go-to, UCSD. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to call them out like that, even though I was having trouble with the appointments. But... I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they redeemed um, themselves today. Right? They redeemed themselves today. Um, but let's get into I mean, some of the stuff that, that they were talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the medicines and yes. some of the side effects. Yeah. Um, that, which I wasn't really too concerned about. I wasn't really too happy with, you know what I mean? Because what yeah. were they saying? Okay, so some of the side effects. Uh, one, okay, because there's technically there's six medicines that they want you to take. Because this is one. This is another. Sorry, I'm pointing to paper, guys. Um, and then this is a three in one. Okay. Okay. And that's the full locks. But it's three medicines in one, and I can't even pronounce all of them. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Oxaloplatin. Yeah. Fo- which is Folox. Right. Oxalo- and then Oxalo- the- Oxaloplatin. And I've mm-hmm. had that before, my first go around. Uh, that's part of the chemo treatment. Yeah. Um, Lysoverin and Florosol. Flor- Florosol. Florosol. Blippolines. <laughs> it's an inside it's joke. It's fluorouracil. There it's, you go. See? Yeah. It's, She's good at that shit. It's fluorouracil, and then it's... Um, the sovereign. Where? The top. <laughs> That's not... What's that say? Um, it's la... The coverin? La coverin. The coverin, the sovereign. It could no. be either or. No, that's... <laughs> it's like C O co. Whatever. Sienada. <laughs> Sienada. Um, and yeah. And then there is Satexamob. Yeah. And then there is Panatamumab. Well, the, the Oxaloplatin, mm-hmm. that yeah. I took last time, but I took it in... A, a pill, liquid. No, I took it in a pill formation. This one? Yes, the oxaloplatin. Okay. Um, and I took that in conjunction with the chemo. Um, okay. So, and the oxaloplatin, is, that's the one that actually uh, made Gave my hands... Turn black? Right. The inside of my hands. Yeah. Like The palm. Yeah, yeah the palm and, and my feet. The yeah. bottoms of my feet. Mm-hmm. Just crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so going back to the side effects, some of the side effects of these are going to be um, acne, which I'm just like, what? Like, Go ahead. Tell him about my skin, baby. Tell him about my skin. This is all natural, you guys. I can't help it. Because his skin is so beautiful. Like, it's flawless. It just runs in the family. Oh, stop it. No, you and your sister have, like, perfect Uh, skin. I can't help it. Okay, whatever. So, okay, so it, it might cause acne. Well, it will. And that's kind of like, okay, but the medicine is helping you. But the one that I don't like is the rash that you're going to get. Where is this rash going to be? Is on your arms, your legs, your chest, your tummy, your head? Like, I don't know where it's going to be. Screw them. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say that. And then... And then they want to give you antibiotics so the rash doesn't become infected. And I don't like that. Because you're you're already going to have a compromised immune system. No, I, I, I get that. I and know. then adding an antibiotics, it's like, dude, we need your immune system to be pumped up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't know, really, so I really don't know right now. I, you know, I think I need to uh, I need to read some of these um, prescriptions or the medicines that they plan on giving to me, and yeah. and actually find out what okay, they do. Okay, here it is. Here it is. I found some information. Possible side oh, effects. Yeah, see, like your nails change, but he said that's going to be over like a long period of time. So what? It damages your nails? I don't know. I have to read. Oh, it makes uh, ridges. 
in your nails. Shit, Ruffles got ridges too. <laughs> okay, possible side effects. Rash or itchy skin. Acne like rash. Fatigue. Nail changes. Changes in electrolytes. And which one? And, low and, what, and for which one is this? And this is for um, Panatamu Mob. Panatamu Mob. Panatamu Mob. Okay. There's a lot of mobs. Satuxa Mob. That's another one. Okay. But anyways, um, sound like some kind of gang or something, right? Okay, so, and then it also causes low magnesium levels. Okay, yeah, these are all things like... Oh, and diarrhea or loose stools. Ooh-wee. That's just one. Like, so that's far. just one. Okay, and then this one, Cetuximab, um, rash or itchy skin. See, it's going to be the same thing. Acne-like rash, fatigue... Yeah, it's the same thing. Muscle or joint pain or weakness, constipation, nausea or vomiting. Oh, so it's a little different. Diarrhea or loose stools, urgent bowel movements. And then, yeah, changes in electrolytes, low magnesium, low potassium, and low calcium. So you're going to have like shortness of breath, chest discomfort. Yeah, a whole bunch of bullshit. Um, and then this one, the three and one, the full locks. Yeah, that's the chemo. Yeah, that's actual chemo. Uh, decreased white blood cells. Increased risk for infection. Uh, decreased hemoglobin, part of the red blood cells that carry iron and oxygen. Uh, decreased platelet count. Risk of bleeding, pain of pain of discomfort on hands and or feet. Yeah, I had mouth that. irritation or sores, like seriously. Yeah, I had the hands or feet. Yeah, you know, because I had the hyperpigmentation from. But from remember, that. you also couldn't touch like. Yeah, sensitive to cold. Yeah, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, sensitivity to cold. I told you. So yeah. Fatigue, and then sun sensitivity. And that's the three-in-one full locks. Yeah. So. It sounds like a lot, don't it? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're feeding me bullshit on, a, on China dishes. You know? I don't know. Well, I mean, he just said that it's I'd, proven that chemo works. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. I know one thing, and I, spe- I, I said this yesterday, is that no matter what, no matter before I even decide to make, a, even before I make a decision, I am going to get me <clears throat> another MRI or a CT scan. Yeah, and he was in agreement with uh, that. He's down with that. Because he was I've, like, yes. I have a feeling I'm going to walk in there, and I don't, you know, like I said, I don't know if I'm setting myself up disappointment because I don't... Uh, Whatever, it is. I'm not going to be disappointed at this at this point in stage in the game because I'm already at stage four anyway, so fuck them. Um, but yeah, I, I just need to see where I'm at. What, yeah. what, the things that I've been doing on the side, what has that done for me? You know, my eating, my, my probiotics, my... Uh, liver support, my liver support, my cell support, um, my getting my, acupuncture, my pinning, my <laughs> acupuncture. I was trying to think of the word, but it was, uh, my pinning, my my massages. You know, just uh, my meditations, my prayers. Um, where what is all this doing for me? My positive yeah. thinking. I need to know. Where I stand right now, am I sitting here um, curing myself? Because my body, I believe, my body is. I could cure it. Could cure itself. I, I believe. Yeah, that. it can. It can heal itself. I definitely believe that in the right environment with the right, you know, nutrients. Yeah, and and 
remember everything was like getting stuck in the digestive system. And so with the acupuncture, you're getting that moving. And that's yeah. what you need is the movement to clear itself. Yeah. You yeah. know, to get rid of the old cells. Yeah. Regenerate new healthy cells. Yeah. And then and that's what I'm kind of, you know, as I research more, um, it's a trip because I'm, all these words and terminologies kind of start coming into play because I'm looking at stuff right now and how cancer kind of starts to form and it starts in your microbiomes. And then mm-hmm. I'm, I'm getting all these news feeds about Steve Harvey and his green things with microbiomes and, mm-hmm. and how all these things interconnect. And I'm here to tell you there's something about this stuff. So um, I'm, here to, I'm here to just inform you. Um, if I can, and with the help of my wife, you know, um, be that bridge between people that look like you and I. That's all I can do as I continue my fight um, and have my wife here by my side just um, helping me navigate this thing, you know, because it could be a lot. And, you know, if, if you don't have a if you don't have anyone or a support system to help you kind of navigate the medicines and, you know, and not only that, but be supported of, be supported of, of be supportive of your decisions. Um, when it's time to make those, um, it's, it's important. It's important to have that person next to you or somebody. And if you don't, then find a support group to help you, mm-hmm. you know, um, all I know is I feel really good. Oh, I feel you great. Know, with the news. Yeah, I feel great. I mean, it's like night and day. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. And and that's why I'm going to make the move. I'm going to go ahead and cut this other doctor off and... Yeah. You know what I mean? You. Yeah. Voulez-vous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Me and the wife got these inside jokes. You know what I mean? And... <laughs> voulez-vous, motherfucker. Oh, voulez-vous. voulez-vous. Yeah. You know. Anyways, but no, I'm really appreciative for your guys' time, for your guys' uh, just your continued support and where I'm at and what I'm doing. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, um, I, I think it plays like a huge part in, you know, your healing and your recovery. Oh, just yeah. knowing that you have people that love and support you, like, is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but stay tuned. I do got some things coming up um, in the works real soon, so be on the lookout for that for these things. I have a couple interviews coming up. Um, we're going to start off with two. Uh, one of them happens to be with my acupuncturist, yeah, um, Pin Lu, um, <laughs> coming up really soon, um, um, and also a, a survivor of stage four. Hodgkin's lymphoma, Mm -hmm. two-time survivor of Hodgkin's lymphoma. So be on the look for that, uh, Mr. Patrick Paper Pat Thaggart. Um, So, yeah, it's on. So, you know, just continue to, uh, to post up and find out how, you know, other people are doing in their treatments and how they survived and how they kept a peace of mind. Um, look forward to just uh, continue bringing you informative information and from time to time bringing my wife along for the ride, you know. So I think she's getting used to this microphone thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have to twist her arm all the time, so don't worry about it. Um, but anyways, thank you again. Continue to support. Um, this is Lewis. This is Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. Uh, if you're looking to support in any kind of way or have any questions or want to be on the show yourself, please hit me on my email, cancermyjourneymyway at gmail.com. Uh, once again, that's cancermyjourneymyway at gmail.com. And this is Lewis and my wife saying peace, love, love. one. <laughs> my daughter hates me for that. <laughs>